Hello, it's Steve from the Seaside Allotment Channel and if you've seen my last video you'll know that um, I'm trying to figure out ways to capture more water and all the surfaces basically that uh, water lands on I'm trying to capture some water off them and th one of the suggestions from the last video was capture from the uh, greenhouse roof. Now the greenhouse roof does kind of have built-in gutters uh, they're open at both ends and uh, I can't find any online attachments uh, for gutter kits and the ones that are there don't seem to be right, the right size as I said but they're very expensive so I've made my own and I'll show you what I've done okay so this is what the gutter section looks like and it's a pretty good size should uh, capture everything without any flooding uh, so I've got to figure out some way of create, attaching a pipe, a downpipe, to that section, which is not so easy to do. So the first thing I've done is I've blocked off the far end, uh, and I've just used this uh, double-sided sticky tape, which is really, really sticky. Um, and it's nice and structural, so it kind of provides, just kind of stand up there. Uh, really well so that's one end done so I've got a water butt here drilled a hole in it stuck some pipe through and then I've built myself a little gutter attachment and I've basically built it from the same double-sided sticky tape now it's not too bad quite pleased with the way it's gone as I said the structure the double-sided sticky tape is very thick so you do get kind of this it's got some structural integrity to it, it kind of holds its shape um, and I've done a few layers of double-sided sticky tape and then I've, on the top I just put some duct tape just to provide a bit of waterproofing um, and I kind of put some duct tape inside there to kind of block off these edges here these edges of here um, so it's not too bad I'm sure I can do a probably better job there it, but it's done for now but I need some sort of little cap to uh, block it off the top so that stuff um, although water can flow through it I don't want leaves and the gunk blocking it up so I thought well, I'll use one of these and I'll cut off the end so it looks like that so it's like a little, little gutter cap. I just pop that in the top, uh, so it rests on the top of the dual side sticky tape, and it'll actually maybe give that tape a little bit more structural integrity. But the water should flow through it still really easily. So this happens to fit pretty much perfectly in the hole, and just locks itself just underneath that little lip there, and. Could stick it down but I won't for now I'll just see how it goes on its own but it blocks off the hole you can see that really nicely uh, to stop any leaves or other debris going down but still provides some nice channels for the water to flow down so I've got my watering can let's look at the pipe and let's see if I can water perfect That's a perfect job. <laughs> perfect for a bodge. So this water butt has an inverted dustbin lid in it. Dustbin lid's got holes in it. Bricks on top to hold it in place. And keep the leaves out. And so it fills itself as well from there. So that's pretty good. So that, I don't know how much that is. I'll probably measure it. Um, but maybe one and a half square meters or something of extra water capture space. So really pleased with that and of course I can do the same thing on the other end if I can find another barrel anywhere and uh, yeah fantastic really pleased. So I've just measured it and it's 1.2 square meters so it's about 1.5 so it's 1.2 meters on each edge so it's about 1.5 uh, square meters so that's three square meters for the whole thing which is pretty much the same size as the shed roof. So yeah, it's going to be fantastic. Really, really pleased.
So that brings my capture total to 15 square metres, which I'm really excited about. It's um, quite a substantial improvement on last year uh, when I ran out of water, um, but I had well, a fraction of that because this year we've added the polytunnel um, and all the uh, capture capacity on the polytunnel as well. So that's good. I have a lot more in under cover space this year. But anyway, I'm still getting confident now that I can survive through to when the water's switched on uh, in April sometime without running out of water. So that's good news. Mm -hmm.